Welcome back. January is National Glaucoma Awareness Month, and joining me now to answer questions about the diagnosis and treatment of glaucoma is glaucoma specialist Dr. John Lewis of Southwestern Eye Center. Dr. Lewis, welcome to the program. Well, thank you now, very for much. people who say, I hear glaucoma commercials all the time, I see things about it, what is it exactly? Could you answer that basic question first? Glaucoma is a very serious eye disease uh -huh. in which the optic nerve slowly deteriorates and can lead to loss of vision and eventual blindness if it goes untreated. Now, is this something that ha affects people that when they get to a certain age? When should they start checking for it? Glaucoma can occur at any age, mm -hmm. but it's most commonly found among elderly people. Mm -hmm. And the risk for developing glaucoma increases once a person is 50 years of age or older. And so is that when people should get, uh, start getting eye checkups for that? Or you say you should get an eye check at any age? People should get eye checks at any age. Mm -hmm. But the older a person gets, the more important it is to get frequent eye examinations. Now, you brought some examples here that we can look at to see what glaucoma is and how you can treat it. Glaucoma is a disease that basically damages the optic nerve. Mm -hmm. This is the nerve that connects the eye to the brain. And let's hold that up so Bob can see that. Okay. There you go. Go ahead. And it sends uh, visual messages from the eye up to the brain. Mm -hmm. It's a disease that will result in slow progressive loss of vision, usually involving a peripheral vision. And a person oftentimes is unaware that's even occurring until it gets to a very advanced stage. Oh, because it's so gradual, they think that's exactly. just the effects of age. It doesn't cause a sudden loss of vision. Now, what, are you, what can you do to treat it? There's lots of different therapies that are available. You can either treat it with medical therapy in the form of eye drops, or there's laser surgery that can be done to try to improve the drainage of fluid from the eye that helps to maintain a proper pressure inside the eye. Mm -hmm. And there's also surgery that can be performed on the eye to help maintain the proper pressure inside the eye. With some diseases, the, the earlier you catch it, the better treatment options you have. Is it the same with glaucoma? Same with glaucoma. The earlier it's diagnosed and treated, the better chance there is of keeping the optic nerve from having further deterioration mm -hmm. so that we can maintain a person's vision throughout their life. Um, you know, when people come in and they have the surgery, are they amazed at how, what a difference it makes when they've lost their peripheral vision, the next thing you know they've gotten surgery and they're eyesight is back to what it was 20 years before? Well, there's lots of different surgeries we could do to improve a person's eyesight. Mm -hmm. When it comes to glaucoma surgery, our main goal is to try to prevent further loss of vision. So unfortunately, the damage that occurs already is something that cannot be fixed. Now, there are different types of glaucoma? There are lots of different types of glaucoma. People oftentimes think of it as a single disease, mm -hmm. but actually there's about 50 different types of glaucomas. So oh. but some are much more common than others. And the most common type of glaucomas do tend to be of an inherited nature. Mm -hmm. So it is a disease that can run in families. Now, is this something that could be prevented? You can't really prevent the disease, mm -hmm. but you can have it diagnosed at an early stage and treated aggressively in order to avoid any further loss of vision. Now, you said there's several types of surgeries that people can have for, for glaucoma. What is, what's the recovery time generally for them? Well, if it's laser surgery, the recovery time is very quick. They're mm -hmm. usually back to work the either later that day or the next day. Wow. But if it involves actual surgical treatment inside the eye where we go in with surgical instruments, mm -hmm. there you're looking at anywhere from a two to four week period of time where they have to restrict their activities and just not do anything that's of a strenuous physical nature. Now earlier you said one of the symptoms is losing the peripheral vision and that's gradually. Are there any other symptoms people should be aware of? There are some types of glaucomas where they can experience pain and mm -hmm. sun loss of vision. But well, those are extremely rare. The more common types of glaucomas have no symptoms at all, which is why it's such a dangerous disease. Mm -hmm. People can have it, and they don't even realize that it's affecting their vision. So the best way for somebody to find out if they have it is to really get the medical exam. They need to have a regular eye examination. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone over 50 should have annual examinations. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lewis. I appreciate it. I'm sure that answers a lot of questions for people who say, I've heard about it. I don't know exactly what it is. But that there, the fact that there are 50 different types of glaucoma, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's, there's a, quite a number of different types. Different types of glaucomas require different types of treatment. So it's important not only to get it diagnosed, but determine what type of glaucoma and have it treated appropriately. Right. And of course, Southwestern Eye Center is one of those yeah. places where they can show you your options. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us well, today. Thank you. thank you. And for more information on Southwestern Eye Centers, just log on to their website at SWI, that's E-Y-E, dot -E com, or call them at 480-854-8185.